So this video is going to cover GoPro Fusion, how to remove the tripod from our videos where it's mounted on a static tripod. For this we'll need Premiere Pro, Photoshop and obviously stitched video from our Fusion camera. So let's start by going into Premiere, a new bin, we're going to call that Nests. But this is just a workflow to keep things tidy and another bin for patches because what we're going to have to do is nest the footage to be able to remove the tripod. Now we want to import the video so we'll grab the video and we want to drop that over up here preview we can have a look at it, it's only 10 seconds long so we can grab the whole video we don't need the audio so we'll just grab the video, we don't need audio for this one as you can see that's the full video 10 seconds and in 3D view with the VR viewer and we will rename that sequence just tripod removal just to make it easier to be able to find it okay so now we need to nest it so right click nest and we can go OK or we can change the name. So tripod nest, OK. And drag it and drop it into the nest bin. Now double click on the tripod nest. And that nest appears. And we want to add an effect to it. So we'll go up to effects. Type in the search bar horizon. And GoPro VR horizon plugin will appear, drag and drop it onto the video. These come free with the, the Fusion Studio software and we want to change the pitch to 90 degrees. That way we'll be able to see the tripod in the centre of the image. We'll take a screen grab and we can call that something like tripod patch or similar, uh, just a still image, JPEG. Remember where we're saving it to. And OK. OK, so we've grabbed a screen grab there. We're back to the editing view. And now we'll go down to Photoshop. Open up Photoshop. Open the image. We'll grab that still image. OK, so that's the open in Photoshop. Zoom in a little bit just so you can see it closer up. I've already selected the lasso tool. What we're doing is we're lightly or loosely going around the tripod because that's what's going to be removed. We can use Shift F5 and that brings up Content Aware Full and that's the tripod removed. OK, that was without the marching ants. We could tidy that up a little bit if we wanted, just by using the the brush tool. Okay, so I, I'm going to live with that. We don't have to be too fancy with it. Nobody's going to really look at it. Unlock the background. We want to zoom out a little bit. We're going to feather, so that's right click feather five pixels and then we need to invert the image and press back shift to delete the rest of the image that's why we unlocked the layer so now we have just the, the tripod area and um, command h to remove the ants and we want to save that file as a png file that is what our patch is going to be and I've saved it to the video location so I know where it is a large file size I'm going to save it as that and we're back into Premiere so in patches right click on patch import and import that PNG file
Okay, so that's it there. We're going to drag it and drop it onto the nest and stretch it out for the length of the video. And as you can see, the tripod has now been removed. We could have removed a bit of debris that was there. If you want to go a little bit further, you could, you could have removed it at the same time. I've just left it. And now when we double click back on the sequence, as you can see, it's actually the tripod has gone. And we'll drop the VR onto it. Change that to minus 90 to bring the video back to where it was before. And as you can see, the video in 3D and the tripod is removed. Okay, you could have done a bit more work on it so it wasn't so visibly removed. But for the purpose of the video, that was just a quick way of doing it. Obviously, if it was a proper video, I would do a bit more work on it. And that's how you remove the tripod from a 360 Fusion video. That's where the tripod was before, and there it's gone now.